All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. Hope you're all well. So I've got a pedal demo for you today, and we're going to be looking at a new pedal from the guys at Walrus Audio. Hopefully you guys know who they are. They're really, really sound. I met them at the NAMM show, and they make incredible pedals. I did a video of their Red Distortion, um, the Jupiter Fuzz, and the Iron Horse uh, back at the beginning of the year, and I'm pleased to say that they have just announced Iron Horse version 2. This is the old Iron Horse. It's extremely powerful distortion pedal. Here is version two. Uh, I'll do some close-ups so you can see what you're looking at, but essentially it looks exactly the same in a lot of ways. However, uh, they've updated the graphic and I think it looks way more badass and way more like a horse in this updated graphic. And also, they've kept the kind of mustard yellow color, but they've made it slightly metallic, which is really nice. It looks like a nice update when you put them side by side, which is cool. We've got the same control layout, so we've got level, tone and distortion, and we've still got the same uh, clipping knob on this pedal, which basically means that in the left position, you've got a mild amount of compression, all the way over to the right is lots of compression, and in the middle is none at all, it's wide open. So in terms of what they've updated on the Iron Horse, essentially the uh, level control has been updated so it's easier to find unity gain. In other words, it's easier to find zero um, on any of the clipping modes. So that is, that's the update they've given to the level control. As far as tone control, they've uh, given it more scope so you can get brighter sounds if you want. Of the, they've, they've kind of shaped the tone a little bit more at the top end of the pedal. And as far as distortion goes, they've uh, updated it so that it's more controllable at low gain uh, settings. So that's interesting. We'll definitely try that out. Um, and then I think what I'd like to do is put them side by side and see the difference and see which one sounds better. Anyway, let's put it on the board. Okay, so we're going to start with a Strat. The main reason is because this is an ex extremely high output pedal. It really does drive the front of the amp. So uh, when I used it with humbuckers last time, it was a tiny, tiny little bit muddy from my memory. Uh, although I'm going to use the PRS on it just to get comparison. But we're going to we're going to use a Strat to start with. I think it'll sound great. Uh, going straight into the Iron Horse, uh, and then out of that, I'm going into an AB box. One feed is being sent to the front of a Victory V40 and then the other side is going to the front of a Kemper on a Colonial profile, really, really clean. I just thought it'd be nice to, you know, shoot out the Kemper and the and a valve amp as well. So here's the sound of the V40 straight in. Right, here we go. Let's check out the Iron Horse. Uh, everything at 12 o'clock, and I'm going to put the clipping stage in the middle where it's most uh, open. That sounds wicked. Uh, that's everything at 12 o'clock, and again, there's no compression going on. Before I mess with the dials, I'm going to mess with the clipping stage, so I'm going to uh, just play something, then switch to the left, so you hear it with low compression, then switch to the right, so you hear it with more compression. Here we go. <laughs> Gives you more sustain for sure. It's softer, uh, softer in the top end especially, um, but it's smoother. It's a smoother gain. It's nice, a smoother distortion sound.
It even cleans up well. I like that. Right, we're going to try loads of compression. So you can hear it's gotten quieter, it's because it's being slammed so much. So in, in a nutshell, it's bringing the high and low transients together, which often results in a loss of uh, sort of volume. That's what the volume's for, so you can boost it. But this is how it sounds. That's great. I think with the extra compression, what it's doing is allowing things to feel a bit easier to play. I mean, definitely the shred stuff comes a little bit easier because it's squashing everything together. So it's a bit more forgiving on the fingers. However, I think that sounds really fat, you know? I like it. Now we've heard the toggle switch in open, we've heard it in uh, both low and high compression modes. I'm going to pop it back over to uh, open and then we'll just mess around with the gain control, see how filthy we can get. And then obviously adding the compression is just going to fatten everything up even more. So we'll just play around from here on in. I'll also crack out the PRS as well, but for now let's just go back to the middle setting and let's just boost the tone and the distortions. Have a listen. <laughs> It's a big, big sounding pedal. Really, really, really powerful. I think any more distortion than that, let's just flip over to the clipping stage. Okay, so everything's boosted just a touch. I've put the compression switch or the clipping switch all the way over to the right. Uh, so this should be a pretty thick sound. That sounds huge. I'm just going to say that. That's a strat, you know what I mean? Let me play without the pedal. That's impressive. Cool. So I've got Paul's guitar. This is, well, this is my guitar, but it is a Paul's guitar. And uh, yeah, this is how it sounds into the V40. Let's kick in the Iron House. It's nice, it's definitely got a thick feeling, it's an American sounding distortion, it feels like it's really, really fat. Is it the Kemper real quick? Way too much. Right, back to the V40, right.
So it is overloading the amp, like seriously, it's pushing it properly. Now, I love the way that sounds. A lot of people would say that's quite muddy or whatever, but it's almost verging on a fuzz, you know, it really fattens up when you dig in with those chords. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's fair to say that the PRS was a little bit overpowering for this particular pedal, in my opinion. However, I've got the strap back and I've put the version 1 on the board. So now you can see on the left we've got the V1, on the right we've got the new V2. And got everything at 12 o'clock, got all the clipping stage fully open, there's no compression going on. So let's just AB them one by one. So here we go, here's, here's uh, version 1. Version 2. Interesting. It's less output, interestingly enough. I mean, that's probably a good thing because there's so much bite in this pedal. There's so much, you know, balls in the sound. It really, really pushes the front end. So it's probably a good thing that they've dialed that, little, that back a bit. Um, anyway, right, let's go back to version 1 and I'm going to just quickly dial in a thick tone and then I'll do the same settings on 2 and we'll see which one sounds better. That's a thick distortion sound. I've boosted the tone, I've boosted the level, I've put a little bit of compression in, and I've boosted the distortion. So let's do the same to V2. Okay, so this is V1 again. V2, same settings. Yeah, V2 sounds better to me. I think it's got more of an open distortion sound. It's definitely a lot thicker, uh, but it's not as sort of uncontrollable in the top end. And uh, just A being them for both chords and lead, I think V1 is a very powerful, very thick sounding distortion. But I think where they've refined V2 is just taming it in the top end a bit. It is a very powerful pedal and I think it sounds most suited with a single call guitar, personally. I'd be interested to know what, gu what guitars uh, the guys use to model their pedals on, but it really does sound fantastic with single coils into a clean amplifier. But yeah, this was fun, bit of fun, show you what it sounded like in front of a Kemper, show you what it
it sounds like with some humbuckers and of course show you what it sounds like alongside version one um, so hopefully it's been useful for those of you that are curious about this new pedal anyway thank you Warris Audio for sending it across thank you all for watching as always please subscribe like and share comment in the comment section below and I'll see you all very soon